Nicki Minaj has been a rap superstar for over a decade, but some celebrities aren't huge fans of hers. Here are the top celebs who cannot stand Nicki Minaj. First off, we have Cardi B. Cardi B and Nicki Minaj both appeared on Migos' song Motorsport, and that led to a ton of drama. Cardi said that Minaj changed her verse before the song was even released, to which Minaj responded in an interview that Cardi and husband Offset tried to quote, make her seem like the bad guy. The ladies seemed to bury the hatchet shortly thereafter at the Met Gala. Not to mention, Minaj gifted Cardi a $5,000 basket of luxury goodies when her baby culture was born. But then, the rappers got a, into a physical altercation at a New York Fashion Week party in 2018, with TMZ cameras catching Cardi cursing and trying to get through a large crowd of security to Nicki Minaj. Cardi left the party missing a shoe and with a knot on her head, reportedly from a security guard. Cardi B wrote on Instagram shortly after the fight that Minaj had been bad mouthing her and her baby, which Nikki later denied on her radio show. I just want people to know that Onika Tanya Mirage, Nicki Minaj, has never, will never speak ill on anyone's child. The other night I was part of something so mortifying and so humiliating to go through in front of a bunch of upper echelon people who have their life together. I was in a Gautier gown off the mother effing runway and I could not believe how humiliated we all felt because of Nicki Minaj, Cardi said. Our next celebrity is Miss Taylor Swift. Nicki Minaj Minaj took issue with the 2015 MTV Video Music Award nominations for Video of the Year, which she said only celebrated skinny white women, seeing as her hit Anaconda did not get a nomination. She didn't want to name names, but Taylor Swift, who was riding high on her 1989 success, took it as a dig, tweeting to Minaj, I've done nothing but love and support you. It's unlike you to pit women against each other. Maybe one of the men took your slot. Nikki replied that she never referred to Taylor Swift in her complaint, but suggested that the Bad Blood singer speak out to raise awareness of the issues of racism and sexism against women of color in music. Swift didn't, but the ladies teamed up for a duet at the award ceremony to show their solidarity with one another. That solidarity didn't last long though, because Minaj later recorded a feature on Swish Swish, Katy Perry's attempt at a diss track against Taylor Swift. Considering how long Taylor can hold a grudge, we're guessing Minaj won't be invited to join her infamous squad anytime soon. Especially considering which, which Kendrick Lamar lyric Minaj tweeted after Swift dropped Look What You Made Me Do in August 2017, which fans clearly perceived as a dig against Taylor. Next up we have Iggy Azalea. Nicki Minaj's feud with Iggy likely stemmed from Azalea's 2010 tweet that resurfaced in 2013, which read quote, LMAO at Nicki saying she did the Bet Awards live. Uh, if you say so, girl. Minaj reportedly replied, laughing at laughing at things you can't even do. Study that formula, you cornball. Afterward, Azalea claimed that she was joking. In June 2014 at the Bet Awards, Minaj dissed Azalea, who the New York Daily News reported was rumored to use ghost writers for her rhymes. What I want the world to know about Nicki Minaj is that when you hear Nicki Minaj spit, Nicki Minaj wrote it. She said, in her acceptance speech for Best Female Hip Hop Artist. I hope and pray that Bet continues to honor authenticity, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. In August 2014, however, the Hollywood Gossip reported that Azalea and Minaj played nice backstage at the MTV VMAs. Still, by March 2016, Azalea may have reopened the wound on a Watch What Happens Live, saying, I have just as many people on my writing credits as Nikki has on hers. I know I write mine, and if she writes hers, I believe her too. But you can't look at the credits and be like, oh, look at this massive difference. It's the exact same number of people on both. Next up, we have Little Kim, singer rapper Little Kim went by Queen B for decades after getting the name from her late boyfriend Biggie Smalls. 
But Nicki Minaj appropriated the queen, reportedly infuriating little Kim, who said in August 2018, I didn't name myself that. When you gotta name yourself, that's a whole different thing. I would never name myself Queen B. Little Kim said on The Breakfast Club in 2012 that Minaj copied her sound, talked smack behind her back, and was quote, very catty. She also described Minaj as a very obnoxious person and claimed Nicki wanted to be the only female rapper in the game at all. The feud still simmered in June 2018 when Little Kim channeled her inner Mariah Carey, telling Entertainment Tonight that she didn't quote know Nicki Minaj while praising Cardi B. Finally, by August 2018, Little Kim was ready to let the beef die, telling 92.3 LA she did what she did until she's ready. Hopefully, God puts it on her mind to do the right to do the right thing because she knows what she did. Miley Cyrus has also had some beef with Miss Nicki Minaj, proving that she is not one to back down. Nicki confronted Cyrus at the 2015 VMA Awards, which Miley Cyrus hosted, after the Wrecking Ball singer called her not too kind while commenting in an interview with the New York Times. Nikki says live Nikki said live into the microphone at the VMA Awards now back to this B word that back to this B now back to this B word that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press Minaj said after taking to the stage to receive the award for best hip hop hip hop video Miley what's good Cyrus quickly tried to defend herself, telling Nikki, we all do interviews and we all know how they manipulate. Minaj addressed the still unresolved feud in her cover story for the New York Times Magazine's culture issue that October, saying, you're in videos with black men and you're bringing out black women on your stages, but you don't want to know how black women feel about something that's so important, Minaj said of Cyrus. Years later, Miley released the song Catitude in May 2019, which features the lyric, I love you Nikki, but I listen to Cardi, a clear reference to the Minaj Cardi feud. Nikki responded to Cyrus's diss by saying, "A chicken can never talk. A chicken can never talk smack about queens." Minaj said in a response to a question about Cyrus. But I do notice a lot of chickens recently have been trying to say the queen's name for clout, and that has always been happening. The rapper said, that's what Miley did in the first place. And then the white girl cried and made the black girl seem like she was the bad guy. In the first place, she disrespected me in a magazine article for no reason. Next up, we have Mariah Carey. Mariah and Nicki first worked together when Minaj appeared on Carey's 2009 song, Up Out My Face in 2009, but the camaraderie would not last long. During her stint as a judge on American Idol in 2013, Nicki warred with fellow panelist Carey a lot. An Idol source told People that Mariah didn't think Minaj could sing and quote, doesn't think she should be judging folks. Mariah has been saying little things to jab at Nikki from day one of shooting, the source said. Although other insiders said Carrie did not provoke Minaj, a profanity-laced outburst caught on video by TMZ suggested that Minaj was fed up and super, super angry. The once cordial stars who never patched things up publicly announced their departures from, my, from American Idol on the exact same day in 2013. Our next celebrity on the list is Megan the Stallion. This is a recent, recent update Date, Nikki and Megan have had beef throughout the years, but Nikki just dropped a new song that shades Megan to the extreme. Wait, the opposite. But was, oh no, that's good. The most recent chapter of Megan and Minaj's difficult relationship began when Megan released her latest single, Hiss, on Friday, January 26th of this year. The track begins with Megan's declaration that she wants to, quote, get this off my chest and lay it to rest before later rapping the line. These girls be mad at Megan. These girls be mad at Megan's law. I don't really know what the problem is, but I guarantee y'all don't want me to start. Megan's law refers to the U.S. federal law that enforces that information regarding registered offenders is available to the public. For some, this line is a remark aimed at Nikki's husband, Kenneth Petty, who is a criminal and a registered offender. After pleading guilty, mere hours after the release of Hiss, Minaj launched into a tirade on social media and previewed her song Bigfoot, a diss track to Megan. The song, the song was released in full 
Today, this Monday, with notable lyrics such as, Bad girl, she likes six foot, I call her big foot. The girl fell off, I said get up on your good foot. As well as likely referring to Megan's height, five foot ten, and the fact that she was shot in the foot by Tory Lanez. Minaj also repeats the line, lying on your dead mama. Megan's mother, Holly Thomas, died in March 2019 of a brain tumor. Wow, Nikki, a bit too far this time. Next up, we have Miss Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato sent a jab to the rapper's way after Minaj failed to mention her in an Instagram photo from the 2016 Met Gala. When you aren't mentioned, quote, when you aren't mentioned in a post but didn't do anything to the person, Lovato wrote on a Snapchat photo, according to E. Both Lovato and Minaj were dressed in Machino by Jeremy Scott for the event. Lovato took to Instagram, uploading a since deleted photo of Nikki seemingly sending her a very sharp, angry look on the red carpet. This pretty much summed up my first and probably last Met Gala. Lovato captured, captioned the picture. Lovato captioned the picture. I'm obviously laughing at the fact that one, I look incredibly awkward, and two, that the shade being thrown in this picture actually gives me life. Nikki didn't comment on Lovato's statements. Our next and final celebrity is Kanye West. Once upon a time, Nikki and Nikki asked Kanye if she could collab with him on a project for his Yeezy line. In an interview, Minaj, who's 30 not, I don't need to say that. In an interview, Nikki said she told Kanye, Nikki said she told Kanye West, hey look, I'm about to do something and I just wanted to make sure I spoke to you first, alluding to wanting to work with Yeezy, but the idea didn't exactly go down as planned. According to Nikki, Kanye said he was like, well, if I did something with you, I think my wife, Kim K, probably wouldn't love that idea because I should be giving that to my wife instead. If I was doing a female version of the Yeezys or whatever, it should probably go directly to my wife first. The fashion line conversation, which took place before Kanye and Kim Kardashian split, left Nicki Minaj wondering why someone was, quote, very vocal about the fashion industry not letting him in at one time, would deny another black music star the same chance. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Keep watching another video for more celeb inside scoop.